Good evening folks, another episode of Beer Reading with Sean Connors. Another day, another beer. I never intended for this to be a daily thing, but as I've said, I've got a backlog of beer that I'm trying to get rid of, so I'm doing basically every day or every other day until I get through them. I've probably got about another dozen left, so that being said, let's get at it. Uh, once again, beer roulette, I reach in the fridge, whatever I get, that's how I do my review on. Alright, so this one is from Hoyne Brewing Company, H-O-Y-N-E, Carte Blanche Belgium White IPA. 6% alcohol, so a little bit higher than usual. It says, years ago I had the great fortune of learning my craft from brewmaster Frank Appleton. In addition to the science, process, and craft of brewing, Frank taught me the wisdom and value of sharing knowledge. Now I have the honor to do the same. Four of my team, Dave McNaughton, Chris McCrodin, Antoine Foucault and Dylan Hoyne have been given carte blanche to design a series of brews that we have dubbed Young Lion Series. And we're, I am very proud of these breweries, brewers and honored to present the first in the series. Um, out of Victoria, B.C. I'm pretty sure this is one my neighbors got for me when they went to Vancouver. So with that being said, I'll give my glass a quick cold water rinse. So Belgium White IPA. I've ever had a Belgium white IPA. A lot of times when they say white with beer, it means there's wheat in it. And that's not the case with this one because it says ingredients, filtered water, malted barley, European hops, and yeast. Hmm. So I'm not sure why it's called a white PA, IPA. IPA, Indian Pale Ale. So it's pretty clear, I wouldn't say crystal clear, but pretty pretty close. Um, definitely have the smell of hops, which you expect from IPA. IPAs, once again, I'm not a beer expert, but my limited knowledge. By IPAs are just basically pale ale with additional hops added. Additional hops were added because at the time, British troops were in India, and the pale ales that were being shipped couldn't make it without going bad. So additional hops were added as a preservative. I'm sure some expert might be uh, hear that ex exclamation and say, no, no, there's more to it. I'm sure there is, but as I said, my limited knowledge, that's what I know of it. If there's more that you know of, by all means, comment. All right, so once again, the only aroma I'm getting is the hops. And got to take a better taste than that. I was just trying to get rid of some foam, some head. Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely hoppy. But I'm going to say it's a little bit different than IPAs I'm used, used to. Now there are various types of hops you can use, so probably hundreds, I'm not quite sure. Hmm, interesting. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this. It's, um, it's unlike other IPAs I've had. I'm not quite sure how or why. I don't think it's as hoppy as one I'm used to for an IPA. I don't know, perhaps Belgium IPAs are less hoppy than your traditional IPA. I'm not really sure. And I honestly don't know where we're going to um, go with the rating. One point I thought maybe a 2, another point I'm thinking, okay, maybe a 3, possibly even 3.5. I'm not quite sure. In my ratings, a 1's a drain for it, don't like it, can't finish it. A 2 is like, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I don't want to waste a beer, so I'll finish it. A 3 is a good beer, a 4 would be a very good beer, and a 5 would be the best beer I've ever had. This one, I'm not quite sure. Um, it's not bad. 
But there's something there that's preventing me from saying it's good. And with that being said, I'm thinking possibly a 2.5. A 2.5, or sorry, a 2 is, I'm not a big fan, but I'll finish it. And a 3 is a good beer. I know I'll finish it. Like I said, at one point I was thinking, oh yeah, that's not bad beer. And then the more I taste it, it's kind of like, mm, not quite doing it for me. And once again, these ratings are all just my own personal choice. There's no science or anything else there. Yeah, there's something in the flavor there that I can't, that I just can't get past. So with that being said, I think I'm going to stick with my 2.5. So for the Hoyne Brewing Company's Carte Blanche Belgium, IP, Belgium White IPA 2.5. Hopefully you can join me within the next day or so. We'll, uh, do another round of rush or beer roulette and see what we have. Until next brew, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.